Okay, graphing motion. Here we go. All right, so if you are moving fast in the positive direction, whoop, then uh, what you're going to be doing, if you have a graph, it is going to be going upwards because you're moving positive and it'll be fairly steep. All right, if you're moving fast in a negative direction, you're going to be moving downwards and again steep. Slow would be shallow, right? Going upwards, right? And then if we're going negative, it would be downward. It doesn't have to be above or below the, the line. Just moving slow downward um, is negative there. All right, so motion graphs. Here's what we're talking about motion graphs. So we've got something starting at time 0, going to time 18, right? And you're moving along through your motion graph. All right, this, this shows somebody going from 0, then they move up to about 9, right? And then they move, they sit there, and they move down to 5, and then back up to 15, and then all the way down to negative 6. So what you've got right here is you're going past the beginning point and went behind the starting point. Right, so you run past, uh, backwards past the starting point, back into I don't know the locker room, who knows what. So, uh, and we're looking at the steepness, right? The steep parts, right, are moving fast. This is kind of moderate fast, and the shallow parts are moving slow. Or, or you're going negative, really, because it's going past the origin, and or backwards, right? And if it's up, you're going forwards. Okay, and again, flat ones, you are not moving at all. Now, what's cool is we could go in here and we could calculate the actual speed, right? Because um, your displacement, that's where you're going, divided by the time it took you to do that, is going to be your velocity, right? It's going to be your velocity. So let's take a look at A here. It goes from 0 to 9 in 3 seconds. So 0 to 9 in 3 seconds. All right, so we would take the delta x would therefore be 9, Right, 9 minus 0, 0 through 9. Oh, All right, and then the time it took was 3 seconds. So 9 over 3 is, this is going 3 meters per second. We can also try um, going, uh, right here is B0. We could try doing this uh, shallow one right here. So we've got that and that. So this is 6, that is 10. So that is, uh, that is a time, whoops, time equal to 4 seconds, right? 10 minus 6 to the delta t. And then the x here is 9 down to 5. So the delta x, right, we end at 5. So 5 minus 9 is negative 4. All right, so if we take this whole thing, you see that delta x or delta t Get a delta x of 4, and a delta t, uh, negative 4, ooh, close, and delta t of 4. The velocity here is negative 1. Okay, cool.